Hi, this is the end of the year book tag. Uh, I don't know if this is the third time I've done this book tag. I'm not too sure, but it's something of a tradition. We like to think of as a tradition. Um, it's six questions. Uh, question number one. Are there any books you started this year you need to finish? Well, uh, I think the answer to that is always so many, but... Um, there's all the books from the uh, Worldcon that I've got to finish. Um, I think I'm close to finishing one of them, but there's <laughs> quite a lot. Although, uh, could have been more, but the answer to that is quite a lot of books. Uh, question number two. Do you have an autumn, autumnal book to transition into? The end of the year. Uh, no, I don't. Um, no, I don't have any autumnal books. <laughs> uh, question number three. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? Um, I feel like there should be, but uh, I think the answer is no. Even though I've been reading a lot of new books, uh, quite a few debuts um but uh i don't think i have an answer for that question uh question number four what are three books you want to read before the end of the year so um i think these are all uh hardback and i certainly got them oh this year i'm going to start with toward eternity by Anton Herr. Um, I thought it was quite a beautiful looking book. And uh, never read Anton Herr before. So it's another name that's new to me. Uh, next I have Saturation Point by Adrian Tchaikovsky. It's uh, signed by the author. Um, this is bought from my local bookshop. And um, I think it's quite a limited run. Um, uh, it's one of 3,000 copies. And uh, reasonably short, um, 159 pages, so I should be able, I would think, to read it before the end of the year. And third, we have Room City by Klotlo Samasi. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this by the end of the year, but I hope so. Um, I saw this on um, Onyx Pages, um, Booktuber, and it sounded really good. Um, Hopefully I'll be able to finish it before the end of the year. And uh, where are we? Question five. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favourite book of the year? Well, it's been such a great year reading-wise. So much science fiction, a little bit of fantasy. A tiny little bit of horror um, so there's wide open as I say there's the potential for Room City to become the best book of the year um, there are so many others as well I think um, which have the potential of being finished before the end of the year so it's wide open I think there's a lot of potential there
And last question, number six. Have you already started making reading plans for next year, 2025? And yes, I have. Um, next year, I'm going to go back in time. Do, 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 do. Hopefully the video doesn't get copyright claimed. That's the song by Huey Lewis in the news at the end of a Back to the Future. But I'm going to go Back to the Future in terms of looking at previous winners of the Hugo Awards. Not all of them, of course, but um, I've, I do have some award winners. For example, I've got Ringworld by Larry Nevin, the winner of the 1971 Hugo Award, and it tells you so there. <laughs> so um, I've got a few others as well. Uh, and I'm going to go back and watch, not all of them, but I think most of the various movies that have won the Hugo Awards. And I think every single uh, Lord of the Ring movie won uh, the Hugo Award, you know, for good reason, of course. So we've got the whole DVDs, little trails you on DVD. Uh, I bought these as part of Second Hand September. Um, and I'm going to have a look around and see if there's other Hugo Award winners, uh, more so in DVDs than in books. But I'm going to look around and see what I can get my hands on for next year and looking at all the, well, a number of the Hugo Award winners. So it's going to be really, really good. Thanks for watching. Bye.